uh, a show called Bluey. Kids show, animated dogs. Uh, it's a couple of dog parents with their dog kids. Uh, the oldest dog kid is Bluey. Uh, they're just a fun series that adults can connect with around parenting. The kids enjoy because it's just silly scenarios with it's just fun, fun kids show. But they've just launched their new season and uh, this headline has been making the rounds. And viewers divided over Bluey's new episode, Exercise. Viewers tuning into Bluey's latest episode were left scratching their heads over one particular scene with many dubbing it problematic. All right. Do you think cartoon dogs are problematic? Leave a comment. Uh, have you seen the Bluey episode? More importantly, have you seen the Bluey episode? And did you think that it was particularly problematic? I, I saw this headlight and then went, I have to watch this show. Um, my kids had already seen it. They love Bluey. Um, they're, like, they're hanging out for every new episode that comes out. I'm not sure if they actually seen exercise. We might have done this as a family. We did. We did this as a family. Because the problem was with this opening scene where Bandit, the dad dog there, he steps on the scales and his response is, oh, man. And then he grabs his belly, you know, like many of us can and, and often do, with a little bit of lament, wishing that he was a few kilos lighter um, and, you know, just fitting into his skin a little bit better. Very common. I mean, this is part of the, the appeal of Bluey. It connects to families and people where they're at. And who hasn't stepped on the scales and gone, oh, man, especially if you had Chinese the night before um, or you had a few drinks and you just stacked on a bit of that water weight and you're like, ugh. So, uh, and we've just had Easter, right? Who, who didn't get on the scales after having some Easter chocolate and go, oh, man. So I think the timing is really, really pertinent. But people seem to have a problem with, you know, people wanting to be fit. People wanted to be healthy, and they dubbed that as problematic. So that article called out this, this tweet. I adore official Bluey TV and the messages it sends, except in the latest episode, Exercise, where weight becomes a trigger for exercise. Watching Bandit stand on scale and squeeze his belly, frowning, sends a message to kids that fat equals bad and exercise equals weight loss. The upsetting... Hashtag Bluey. All right. Do you, do you think there's a problem with that message? Like, it's funny because as soon as Bandit finishes talking to his kids around, like, why he's upset and saying, ah, oh, I just need to exercise more. I don't have time. I'm just busy being a dad. I'm, I'm, I'm busy working. I can't be late to work to fit exercise in. Uh, then Chili, the mum dog, walks in and all you see is her step on the scales and hear, oh, man, my 12-year-old son looked over at me and my wife and went, oh, that's you guys. And he thought it was hilarious. He thought it was funny that the dogs, he's not going, oh, wow, these dogs are telling me I'm fat and I need to, I, oh, this is very upsetting to me that, that the dogs are fat and want to exercise. Look, we try and get my kids to exercise as much as we can. We try and limit their sugar intake. Uh, it's a constant thing around educating them on good choices and my, my, my kids, my kids know that their parents, we've actually struggled with weight. And we've had to go through a big weight loss journey. My wife and I have both lost a lot of weight over the last five years because we wanted to be healthier for our kids. We wanted to provide a better future for them and model an example what healthy living is. And some of that is going, okay, moderation. I've ate a bit too much. I've had too much sometimes foods. Now I need to make sure I get out for a walk. I do some exercise and I balance it out. Unfortunately, society doesn't think that's necessary. I mean, the person who logged this tweet, um, I think she's got bigger problems. I think she should uh, concern herself more with the fact that where's, where's my, it's not updating. Why, why is it still showing the cartoon dog? My slides are not updating. Oh, come on. Oh, this is, this is, this is problematic. This is upsetting that my presentation does not wish to update, even though I've clearly, clearly changed slides, Canva. Uh, all right, bear with me. Technical difficulties will overcome this. There's no point having visual aids if you can't actually see the visual aids, right? Uh, let me can that. Let's present a view it again. 
live television. This is a live show. Um, if you've ever done stuff live and gone, oh, man, that sucked. I mean, who hasn't done a Zoom call or something in the last couple of years and had some kind of technical difficulty? Like, cheer me up. Stick a comment in there. Hit the like button. Uh, what is a live fail that you've had during all this COVID period in the last couple of years? Um, let me try and work out how to fix this on the fly. This is the fun bit of being a one-man band. All right, there we go. I think we've got it. And, aha, it's way oversized. Let me just resize my window. Okay, there's the tweet. That's the tweet I read out in the condescending voice. I'm the bad guy for doing silly voices. All right, so psychedelic, psychedelic podcast here. She's got a problem with Bluey, um, you know, trying to teach some healthy lifestyle stuff. I think uh, she should probably be more worried about the fact that her Twitter logo looks like she's got a penis on her head. I don't I, like. I get. I think she's trying to be clever, and there's a brain with a cinema camera. But at first glance, it looks like maybe a, a you know a phallus, maybe something going into a like a stuffed chicken. I don't understand. Um, that's a like. It's just me. That's a that's a weird profile picture. That's a weird thing to do to stick this logo on your head. All right. I don't know who she is. I'm not personally attacking her. I'm just saying. Think about your profile picture and don't put like something that looks really phallic and weird on your forehead. Like, whoop, whoop. Anyway, uh, she's, she's got a problem with, 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 you know, trying to teach kids about healthy model living. Um, but so does the whole world. I'm not going to pick on her because the whole world has gone crazy. Um and has gone beyond body positivity where it's like, you know what? All shapes and sizes is okay. But unfortunately, it's not just about personal self-esteem now. They're trying to tell you it's healthy. And I get there's a difference between attractiveness and healthy. People are attracted to different things. Sure, right. Whatever you like, that's fine. If you're attracted to, to different body shapes, good for you. Go nuts. Um, but don't try and tell the whole world that it's a healthy way to be. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about examples like, you know, back in 2021, Cosmo ran these covers. This is healthy. It's not healthy. People might like it. People might even feel happy or comfortable. Great. But don't try and indoctrinate and tell everyone that that is healthy because that is not medically healthy. That is going to put more weight on the healthcare system. <laughs> more weight. Uh, I think that requires one of these. Or maybe, what what does a bad pun deserve? Uh, it's part it's part of this this whole trend. <laughs> like this is this is not healthy. This is going to cause people health issues. Whether that's issues you know with joints and knees and knee replacements and things because of the body weight and the strain of gravity, or whether it's you know obesity and and fat fatty liver disease and other things sort of higher propensities for cancers, other bits and pieces. This is not a healthy lifestyle. So why are we trying to convince people that it's okay to stay unhealthy and that, that getting fit is somehow a net negative for you and a net negative for society? Because most people that have lost a bunch of weight are not sitting there going, oh man, I wish I was fat. They might wish they could go and eat four cheeseburgers, but they're not wishing they were fat. I know that's true for me. It's true for my wife. I know that's true for other people that have lost weight. Like we're not here pining for our old body shape, we might still want to eat the same food we used to that got us to that body shape, but we've learned the lessons and how hard it was to lose the weight we don't want to go back. Um, that's that's what we're getting at here. I mean, and it's like, that's Cosmo. And, and you, you might remember uh, a couple of years back, when was it? Yeah, year 2022. Last year, last year, Jordan Peterson got in trouble because when Sports Illustrated put... Yumi Ku, I, I don't know her name, uh, on the cover, he said, sorry, not beautiful, and no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. Jordan's just sort of straight shooting exactly how he sees it and said, you know what, 
You can stick this on the cover, but that does not mean that it is objectively beautiful. Uh, and he, he actually then references some articles of, and all references are available at mostlymanthings.com. After the show, I'll, I'll hit publish. All the show notes and the references, all links to everything we're covering here will be available at mostlymanthings.com as well as our, our great range of, of mugs and apparel. There's more coming soon. Uh, we've got sort of, you know, this is a customizable. This is bringing the big Dave, big, big Dave energy. You can customize this. So if you're like, the name's Fred, you could bring the big Fred energy and, and have a big F there. Uh, whatever your name is, you can customize this shirt. Uh, all available, but the show notes are mostlymanthings.com. All the references are there. Um, so Jordan followed up and went, you know what? Here's some scientific articles that talk about, you know, symmetry and objective beauty versus societal norms. And like I said, like if you if that's if that's your jam, go nuts. All right, everyone likes different things. Go nuts. But when it's being sort of propagandized as a healthy way of being, then that's when it becomes unhealthy for society. And and, and you got to wonder who is benefiting from that. Like, is this a state driven thing? Is this sort of the left looking to have people reliant on the state? They're unable to work. They 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 need healthcare or they want them to die off early or live on wealth. I, I don't understand. I don't, I haven't followed the chain. I don't know who's going to benefit from a bunch of overweight, sick people becoming a burden on the health system. But I mean, even Sports Illustrated, to their credit, they're not fully convinced about this because in that same issue, it's the swimsuit issue. They had some of their traditional models in there as well. Like pretty much every other model looked like the right, not the left. So they haven't completely jumped the shark. They're somewhat virtue signaling by putting the cover model on the cover, but every single other model, including Elon Musk's mum, who looked pretty good for her age, looks more like the one on the right than the one on the left. So Sports Illustrated, they're, they're, they're pandering, but they're not fully converted either. They know they, they, they know what people are looking for um, when they're buying the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition magazine. Uh, and it's generally more the right than the left. But, you know, whatever you like. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not judging judging what you like. I'm just saying society is, is trying to propagandize a certain, you know, point of view around what people should like. Um, I, I hope, like, I, I don't know how old that psychedelic sort of phallic head Twitter person um, was, uh, but I hope they, they weren't around in the 80s because they're going to have a heart attack. They're literally going to have a heart attack if they remember or recall seeing ads like this one. Oh, Norm, you're not watching the telly again. No, this is educational, Levy. It's all about obesity and how bad it is for you. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't like to catch it. You don't catch obesity, Norm. Huh? How do you get it then? By eating too much, by eating the wrong thing, or by not doing any exercise. Oh. Um, what is obesity exactly? It's getting fat, Norm. Oh. When you eat more than you need, the excess energy is turned into fat. To avoid obesity, cut down the amount you eat. Choose a balanced diet and include some regular exercise as part of your lifestyle. Obesity reduces your chance of a long and healthy life. So, watch what you eat and exercise regularly. I've just got big stomach bones. Is that problematic? People would say yes now. You couldn't publish that today. But that was that's in the 80s. They were very clearly saying, you know, maybe eat a little bit less and move a little bit more. Obesity causes these chronic health issues and they're bad and you don't want them. And I think that is fair and reasonable. That, that, that is caring for people. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to demonize or victimize people for being overweight. Like... Sometimes there's medical conditions and sometimes there's just mental conditions around, you know, your ability to say no to things. And trust me, I've st I struggle with, with food still. Having lost a bunch of weight, it's still a struggle to, you know, go out to the gym um, and not pick up Maccas on a Friday night. But you make choices because you want certain things. And sometimes you want things more than others. Anyway, 
Um, I think it's crazy that the world is complaining about these cartoon dogs showing healthy parenting lifestyles. Like the rest of the episode is them out in the back playing with the kids, getting exercised by by playing with the kids. Um, it's a great episode. Bluey is great in general. So um, if anything, I think they pander to their kids and, and they're a bit soft as parents. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, we are now going to move on to the next section of headlines with this. <laughs> 